Well, hey guys, I'm here in Boston at the AAD and I love filming a what I got at the AAD skincare for you all. And it's been so long since they've had one of these meetings in person because of the pandemic. Uh, I didn't pick up a ton of stuff on purpose because honestly, I don't really need anything, but I did grab a few of my favorites and some stuff that looked new. So getting into it, of course, I went to Neutrogena, one of my favorites, and they gave me this nice big tote, which I'm gonna use as my carry-on on the way back. I brought with me that tote bag that I bought in Los Angeles at Target. If you guys remember, it's blue and white striped. I'm gonna have a pack with me video, so you'll see it there. But basically, I'm gonna put all of the skincare in that bag, check it in, and use this instead as my little carry-on bag. Anyways, I'm sure you cared about that. You're like, shh just get into the skincare. All right, first of all, one of my absolute favorite products, I'm really glad to have it because it's a favorite, is the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Regenerating Cream, the fragrance-free one. They came out with a new, <clears throat> a new label and I really like it. So I got that. Now I use Tretinoin every night and you may be like, well, why would you be excited to have that? I've actually used that on other parts of my body, like my neck, and I love it. So I'm going to continue to use it on my neck now that I have a sample. I'm just sipping here. It's morning time. <laughs> uh, I'm just taking a, it's actually around noon. It's the lunch hour, but I'm having a coffee. It feels like morning to me. I went to the conference this morning and it feels like it's morning because it's an hour ahead here and plus the spring forward thing because you're like shh show us the skincare all right and then another favorite this could be a Neutrogena favorites video so far is the Hydro Boost gel cream glad to have this because I don't have one in my stash um this is a fragrance free one uh and honestly you know this one they label it as extra dry I think it works well for oily skin types <laughs> to be honest and it's lightweight, it's not greasy. It's a, It's got dimethicone, glycerin, hyaluronic acid. This and their body lotion, the fragrance free body lotion, I love. They were showcasing it there and they did give, where is it at? I thought they gave a sample of it, but I guess not. They were, they were, they were talking about it there. They had it out, they were talking about the body lotion, but I guess they didn't give samples of the body lotion. But they did give it samples of my other favorite, which I thought for a minute was being discontinued, but it's not. The Neutrogena Norwegian Formula Fragrance-Free Hand Cream. They discontinued the scented one. Watch my discontinued Neutrogena products video. I've got my four Siggy uh, instant packets. Those are a travel saving grace because I don't have to go down to the Starbucks and figure out like if they're gonna make my coffee right or if it's gonna be coffee that's been sitting on the back burner burn. Starbucks burns the coffee a lot. Anyways, another Neutrogena goodie is this hyaluronic acid serum. In my opinion, this is one of the best hyaluronic acid serums because it really does plump the skin nicely, helping to smooth out wrinkles and fine lines. Now this you do want to layer under a moisturizer for sure. It also has panthenol in it. My one gripe with this product is actually the packaging. Aveeno has a serum and a similar packaging. The reason I don't care for the packaging is because the pipette is really short. And so when you suck up the product, like this is a little plunger that sucks up the product, but you only get a tiny amount. So I, you know, in a way, I guess it's a good thing because a lot of times the long pipette, you get a big glob and you end up wasting it, like putting it all to one area at one time. I guess in a way it's better, but it's just, it's a little bit more time intensive to apply it. Otherwise, this is a favorite too from Neutrogena. And I was glad that, you know, I, I was getting nervous they might discontinue this because they came out with a new fragrance-free Hydro Boost gel cleanser that I really love, but this is an oldie, but a goodie from the Hydro Boost line. It is amazing if you have very sensitive skin. It's got uh, polyoxymers in it, which uh, kind of provides some very gentle, non-irritating cleansing action. And of course, free of fragrance. It's almost like a lotion in a sense. <clears throat> it's really good if you've got dry, peely skin. 
I always like to have benzoyl peroxide on hand in case I get a breakout somewhere like related to working out. I can just do some spot treatments. And I've been really happy with their new um, stubborn AM treatment, the stubborn acne AM treatment. It is a micronized benzoyl peroxide. I think it's a lot less irritating. And the formulation is pretty, it has moisturizing ingredients to kind of help with the dryness of benzoyl peroxide. Now be careful, if you put this on the skin and then it touches fabrics, it will bleach them. So be careful about that. That is one really annoying thing about benzoyl peroxide. Maybe one day they will, they will figure out a way to make benzoyl peroxide, like encase it in something so that it doesn't like bleach stuff. That would be great. Speaking of benzoyl peroxide, you know how I'm always reminding you guys that tretinoin should not be applied simultaneously with benzoyl peroxide because not only is it more irritating, but it can degrade the tretinoin. Well, there is a new uh, tretinoin on the scene called Twinio, where the pharmaceutical manufacturers figured out how to um, pair benzoyl peroxide and tretinoin together in one formula so that you get both ingredients, but they don't cancel each other out. And they it's formulated in such a way that it minimizes irritation from either of those ingredients too. I'm sh it, I, I think it's probably pretty irritating. I don't have much experience yet prescribing it, but uh, yeah, you know, pharmaceutical companies are always coming out with they're always coming out with something new. But the challenge as a clinician is like, yeah, it's great there's a new drug, but can we actually get the insurance company to approve it because the new drugs are always very expensive and it's hard enough getting insurance company to approve old school tretinoin, which honestly, here's a little rant. It would save insurance companies so much money if they just always approved tretinoin for, as first line for acne. Hello. It would save them money. Now, this is not a favorite, but it came in my tote bag anyway. And I, I want it to be a favorite so much. It's the Hydro Boost Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizer with Sunscreen. I love 98% of this product, but the other 2% make it unusable. And that is the burning around the eyes. It's a chemical sunscreen and it is the one, it's the type that it doesn't burn necessarily applying it directly to the skin or directly to the skin around the eyes, but it ends up migrating into your eyes and blinds you. Like if you put this on in the morning and then you're commuting home at the end of the day, you will have to pull over on the side of the road. It is not, it is not good uh, in that sense, but it's, it's moisturizing, it's not drying, and it does have alcohol denaturant in it, which allows for kind of a quick absorbing, non-greasy formula. I really wish that the Bernie eyes thing would, would not be an issue. I think one of the reasons why it transfers into the eyes so readily is because it is not water resistant. But here, let's just pop it open here so you guys can see what it looks like. <clears throat> I hope the lighting and sound are okay. I'm in a hotel room. I've got you guys on my vlogging camera. I mean, if you're new here, FYI, I'm not like Spielberg or anything, you know, you're not gonna get like fancy transitions or editing. I try, I try. I really do make an effort to make the experience better for you guys. Humor me. <laughs> um, I, I got a big glob, but yeah. It does have a bit of an alcohol scent to it. If this were water resistant, I know I keep griping on it, not only would it be less likely to seep in your eyes, but it'd be a great sports sunscreen. They need to work on this, in my opinion, and make it water resistant, because <clears throat> it'd be a good one for sweat, sweaty situations, for working out outside, and for facial hair. It'd be fantastic because it doesn't leave it doesn't leave residue behind because of that kind of quick absorbing formulation. We also got a little sample of it too. They were really, really hyping up this product. And like I said, it would be good if it didn't have those issues. They need to work on the 2% and then it would be perfect. Um, they also came out with this. They were talking a lot about a new uh, mineral stick. Now with sticks, they're prone to skip areas. So be careful of that. Um, in terms of their reliability of providing sun protection. This one is SPF 50 and it's water resistant up to 80 minutes. Let's just do a little here on my neck.
You are getting, I am getting a cast with it, but it is a pretty sheer white. So if you are a paler skin type, then that will probably work for you. If you have very sensitive skin and you like mineral sunscreens. But again, prone to skip areas. I don't go for runs much outside anymore just because around my area, they are constantly tearing up sidewalks left and right. And there's just never a reliable route. I have to drive to a park and it's quite a drive. So I end up mostly just running indoors on my treadmill. But when I did run outside, I love taking sticks with me for reapplying kind of on my run. I find it a lot easier than dealing with the cream. Uh, and this would be a good one in that regard. So I like it, but you know, you're, I like it, but if you don't like the white cast, then be aware of that. Avino gave this cool little natural looking uh, tote bag. These are handy, honestly, if you are, not only is it like a little backpack, but it's got handles to carry it like this. These are great for like a day in the city. <laughs> uh, anyways, what did they include? I'm kind of opening this stuff up for the first time with you guys. Ew, I don't think I've ever, have I tried this? Is it new? Ultra Calming Foaming Cleanser Makeup Remover. I don't think I have tried that. You guys will have to let me know if you've tried it. Our exclusive formula containing calming fever few related to chamomile gently removes dirt, oil, and makeup, helps visibly reduce the look of redness and calm, irritated, sensitive skin, leaves skin looking and feeling healthy. Cool. I'll have to give this a try. Then they included, these are some favorites of mine, <clears throat> the repairing Sika hand mask and foot mask. These are a lot of fun to do. Um, they're moisturizing. I mean, honestly, you could just get like plastic grocery bags or something and put like the Avino eczema there there the Avino makes a Sika repair balm I think it's called you could just grease up your hands and feet with that and cover with gloves and or plastic bags and kind of get the same effect but these would be great in an Easter basket I'm just saying they're a favorite of mine and Avino also hooked us up with the eczema therapy. Love this. This is a great moisturizer. Colloidal oatmeal, very soothing, very calming. And you know, when it comes to eczema, a lot of moisturizers burn and sting when applying to, to eczema, especially if the eczema is flaring and the skin's kind of open and raw. But colloidal oatmeal is very soothing on, on eczema. So this is an oldie but a goodie, an old long standing favorite of mine, and I definitely will use that. The Skin Relief Moisturizing Lotion. This is a great one with dimethicone. This is a favorite. The Oat Repairing Cream. This is a great body cream. It's not greasy. I have used this successfully on the face. Speaking of face, the Calm and Restore Oat Gel Moisturizer. This is a holy grail product. I adore this. It's got uh, centella extracts in it, which are helpful for healing. It also obviously has oats because it's a vino, which are anti-inflammatory and have antioxidants in them. Very lightweight, non-greasy formula. Here, I'll show you what it looks like. I would put it on my face, but I have sunscreen on. I don't want you should never put moisturizer on over sunscreen because it basically rubs off the sunscreen. I was telling you all in the vlog about how I noticed that the water here, I think, is soft, which I am feeling a huge difference in my skin coming from that water that I have back in Houston. It is like, it is so hard. So you guys know I don't use body wash on my arms and legs. You don't need to, there are fewer oil glands there, it can lead to xerosis cutis, AKA dry skin. Uh, but when you deal with hard water, it's definitely something to be super conservative with in terms of the quantity of body wash, uh, you know, body wash or soap that you use because the uh, surfactants can interact with the minerals in the hard water and leave a film on the skin. And that leads to uh, problems with people who have eczema for sure. So anyways, long story short, I was sitting at the conference, I think it was yesterday, reached down to my leg. I was wearing a dress, which I rarely ever do. Um, and I was like, wow, my leg feels smooth, like slippery smooth. 
And I always moisturize, so it wasn't anything specific about my moisturizer. I was using, I used a CeraVe moisturizing cream, which I use all the time. But I'm telling you, I feel a huge difference in my skin with what I think is significantly softer water. And I think it's softer water too, because a lot of people, when they bathe in soft water, they kind of feel like their skin is slippery. Sometimes they say they don't feel clean. And I'm kind of getting that slippery sensation on my skin. So I think it is, the water here is much softer. So I thought I would share that with you all in case you don't watch the vlogs, which I don't know why you don't, because they're entertaining. Then Tizo, which is a great sunscreen brand. Tizo is basically, stands for titanium and zinc. All of their sunscreens are mineral and they're really nice. They're really good. Tizo was there and they gave out these little samples of their mineral sunscreen with ceramides and vitamin C and vitamin E. This is just a zinc oxide sunscreen. So not living up to the tie in Tizo. Wow, I said that with a lot of enthusiasm. They are lightly tinted SPF 40. I'm gonna put this on my face because why not? It's sunscreen. These Tizo sunscreens, like Coats, like MD Solar Science, they are very silicone-y, slippery, which I adore. I mean, I love that. But a lot of people are like, ew, I do not care for this. Um, and this is one of those, those slippery. See, that's nice. There's like no cast on me with that. Now, if you have a deeper skin tone, it, it probably will show up, but it's still, still pretty good. You know, it'll, it'll hit more skin tones than just plain zinc. Oh, I just love that silicone feel because it's just, it's something psychosomatic, I guess. I feel like my skin is immediately less dry. Like I'm not, I, I just feel like it's a hug protecting from water loss. <laughs> This is always my go-to at the uh, conference. I always go straight to the Elta MD booth because they usually have a pretty good hand, a pretty good, uh, a pretty good freebie. And this year did not disappoint. They had some good, good ones. They get full size, which I like too. Um, they don't scrimp. And Elta has been a long-standing favorite of mine. All right, what? I don't know why they had to put this in plastic though. Do we got the UV Sheer. I don't think I've tried this. Is this their new hybrid sunscreen? Hybrid sunscreens have mineral active ingredients and chemical active ingredients. So this has zinc oxide and octocrylon. It is water resistant and it's non-tinted. So this will give a cast likely somewhere in between an all mineral sunscreen and somewhere in somewhere in between an all mineral sunscreen and all chemical sunscreen. It won't be zero, but it won't be like that white sheet. And so I look forward to, to trying that out. They also gave UV Restore SPF 40. This is an all mineral sunscreen. It has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide in it. Tetrahexyl Decyl Ascorbate. That is a stable form of vitamin C. Now, whether or not it actually will get into your skin and fight off oxidative stress, who knows? But anyways, it's in there and it may help. It may help in minimizing post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, but the sunscreen is doing a lot of that work for you. They also came out with a stick this year, zinc oxide stick. This one is not as soft as the Neutrogena one. And by soft, I mean the Neutrogena one spread on much easier. This is harder. Cast is not too bad with that. You know, LTMD, they make skincare products in addition to sunscreens. I mostly just go to them for sunscreens, but they do come out with good, good basic skincare products too. And this I'm really stoked for. It is a skin recovery essence toner. Let's see the bottle. Let's see what the packaging looks like. Looks like they put blue dye in it, which eh, is unnecessary. Maybe not, it could just be the glass. Um, anyways, let's see what the ingredients are. Water, propane diol, biosaccharide gum, malachite extract, glycine, glycerin. So this, this is something to try out. It looks like it might just be like a hydrating toner. I don't know. Interesting that they are getting into that aspect of things. Elta MD Skin Recovery Collection powered by proprietary AAC complex technology. 
helps to repair damaged skin barrier, calm skin, and helps to minimize the risk of irritation. Enriched with antioxidants to help defend against free radicals, toner also contains malachite extract, which helps to detox skin. Detoxing skin is not a real thing. <laughs> Anyways, I do still look forward to trying that, even though I ragged on the marketing. Because that's just what I do, okay? That's just what I do. All right, so I got that. And then this one brand was really, really friendly. Two women, cosmetic chemists, who started a skincare brand called Fig. Fig One. I guess maybe they're going for like, you know, when you write a paper and you have figures and you do journal club, you say Fig. Fig is like an abbreviation for figure maybe like you know graphical representations and stuff anyways they gave me some reading materials on their products how to use looks like they have a micellar oil cleanser that would be fun to try out with grapeseed and squalane so they provide some literature but if i remember correctly from what she was saying i think their products are refillable the packaging is refillable so here's the retinol cream yeah it looks like yeah, so you just order the little refill insert, I guess. That's kind of cool. And it, and it goes in the glass outer outer tube. That way you keep this piece and you keep this outer part. That's great. So you're just reordering the refill. I like the idea of the refillable packaging. Then they came with this cute little, gave this cute little tote here too, zipper bag. And in the zipper bag, <sighs> We got the we got the lower percentage of the retinol in the zipper bag. And we got some samples as well of their niacinamide and the ceramide seal moisturizer. And we got some samples of the retinol cream too, which we got the biggie one of that. So the, they were giving away the retinol. They also have an eye cream. Now the eye cream has retinol palmitate. That is a retinol ester. Not going to do what retinol does for the skin, but it's an antioxidant. This also has peptides, ceramides, and hyaluronic acid and squalane. So yeah, that's everything I got. I tried to be very strategic. Like I love Eucerin products, but everything that they were giving out, I already have. So I'm not going to get more of it. Uh, so I was really strategic in that regard, just to cut down on waste. I'm having a great time here. I hope the filming, the quality of this video was to your liking, a-okay. It's not my usual setup. If you're new here, I don't typically film in a hotel room. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to, definitely check out my What's in My Travel Bag video. I'm going to link that on the end slate. That should be up already. Uh, so check that one out if you want to know what I brought with me, how I packed for this trip in terms of skincare and clothing. Uh, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.